Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at another new deck. Uh, this one was released March 2023. We are now in May 2023, so it's been out about two and a half months. It was released mid-March uh, and we are now at the end of May. So two and a half going on three months, still fairly new. It's called Tarot of Tales, the deck and little guidebook. Illustration by uh, Rohan Daniel Eason. And the deck is salvaged by Melinda Lee Home. A folktale inspired box set including 78 specially commissioned tarot cards and a 176 page illustrated book. It comes in a larger hard case rectangular box. And it's published by Sickle Books for those who love purple. It's, uh, it has a purple theme. And here are a few uh, pictures of the cards. Folk tales have brought us invaluable lessons on life for thousands of years. With Tarot of Tales, veteran tarot reader and author Melinda Lee Holm and illustrator Rohan Daniel Eason invite you into their magical world of art and prose where your readings become personalized fairy tales told by the cards. Large, large keepsake box. 78 beautiful folk tale inspired tarot cards in a two-piece box and illustrated 176 page guidebook uh it says melinda lee home is the author of elemental power tarot and your magical year both published by sickle books co-author of divine your dinner and creator of melinda lee home beauty so she's published uh several different things it looks like so let's go ahead and open this up now this is a sleeve so it slides open so it slides out it was easier when i did it the first time i slid it out <laughs> and then i slid it back to show you guys so just hollow sleeve all right and then the box is underneath nice pretty picture here this is the same you guys saw the top and the bottom and it is a magnetic box so it's magnet this is magnet it is larger that's why it's not totally fitting in the frame 100 percent here's the inside lining does come with a ribbon, nice thick ribbon to lift up your guidebook. And this guidebook is hard case cover, you guys. Pretty impressive. And we'll take a look at the guidebook more uh, in depth. And uh, once after we look at the cards, look, the guidebook even have a, a ribbon for you to mark, mark your page. Very impressive presentation. And then the deck itself comes in another box inside the main box. And this is hard. It's cardboard, but it's hard. doesn't move around. Keeps your box in place. Interesting design. As far as the squigglies, that's what I'm talking about, not the box design. So, and this is just a regular hard case two-part box. It looks like Hay House Oracle card size. Lift up. You have that same uh, design on the inside of this box. And this also comes with a ribbon for you to lift it out easily. All right. Very sturdy. Everything is well packaged. It was just delivered. And it does have this paper binding, which... We will take off this is paper all right and here are the backs of the cards looks like it is reversible not gilded so no gilding and it's papery it's papery medium card stock um, comparing it to a plaid back tarot card, it is larger, so taller and wider. 
and then comparing it to a Hay House Angel card. Uh, the Angel card is wider, but this card is a hair taller. So it's skinnier, but a hair taller. All right, so they're larger, larger size uh, tarot cards. So it covers my little petite hands. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at the cards themselves. So zoom in. So we have the full, as you can see, that there is a black border and then this down here with the number and uh, title of the card. So we have the full starting out here, juggling. Looks like it's a dog poodle. And we have the magician. The high priestess. I like this high priestess. You don't see her face. You do see the crescent moon up here. But the high priestess uh, it has to do with things hidden, right? Things we don't see. And so this is depicted depicting she's here but she's hidden she's all cloaked up we can't see her i like that for the high priestess here we have the empress by the way this is an animal deck that appears from what i saw from the cars i saw before purchasing it so we have the empress mouse and the emperor they're animals but um Pretty easy to read. They follow the right away system pretty much. As you can see, he looks like he is the emperor with his crown and the way he's sitting. So very readable. And we have the higher font. A teacher here or a mentor, guide, however you want to look at it. The lovers, I don't understand this being the lover, it's like a bumblebee and the nectar of the flower. I guess it's a mutual relationship, <laughs> mutual give and take. Uh, what do they call that? There's a word for it where it's beneficial to both. The chariot. I like this chariot. There's no horses and no person. It's more like a carriage, an open carriage, but I like it. It gives you like a, I don't know, a Victorian feel or something. I just like the way it is. It doesn't show the black and the white and the horses, but I still like it. <laughs> the strength. Well, it's just strength. It's not the strength. We have the lion, but he looks like he's relaxing on a hammock reading. He's tame himself. He tamed his inner demons, dark shadow. I do like this hermit. This is one of the cards that I do like. One of the, the cards that uh, made me want the deck, the hermit. He's also hidden. He's in isolation. Doing lots of reading and research and writing is what it looks like. The Wheel of Fortune. We have the Wheel of Fishies. Justice. <laughs> Trying to balance things out. The hanged man, although it's a bat and not a man. Death. Temperance. The devil. I like this devil card. It's a little mouse, but the shadow made him look something like something bigger, a big scary monster. In reality, it's just a little mouse. So the devil is about illusion. 
perhaps fear of something that you know is is just an illusion. So he looks scary and big. So I really like this uh, interpretation of the devil card as well. The tower, no lightning, no people falling, but we do have the tower there. The star. The moon, the sun, different sun card, judgment. It doesn't follow the right away 100% sort of loosely. Some cards does and some cards doesn't. But judgment and the world. So this completes the major arcana. Moving on to the minor, starting with the suit of cups with Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Two fishies with the jellyfish. Three of Cups. A little celebration here with friends. <laughs> and the turtle is serving as their table. <laughs> Four of Cups. I'm trying to see all the cups. Am I not seeing all the cups? Are they up there? Or are these supposed to? I don't know. I didn't get this one. Five of cups. So are they being washed away, washed out, or a tidal wave coming in? Yeah. Six of Cups. So some of this is not traditional right away. Seven of Cups. Oh, he's looking at his reflection. Eight of Cups. All the penguins. I guess they're all going away. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Happy family there. No rainbow. Page of Cups. It's the fish that's holding the cup. <laughs> With a whole bunch of other fish. It's or school of fish, knight of cups, queen of cups, and king of cups. Next is the suit of swords with ace of swords, two of swords, kind of balance there, three of swords, four of swords. Five of Swords, Six of Swords. Oh, they're graduating. They throw all their graduation hats in the air. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. The owl is stressed out, studying. Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, and King of Swords. Next is the suit of coins with Ace of Coins, Two of Coins. Oh, it's a bear watering. Interesting. Three of coins. Oh, they're working together. <laughs> Teamwork. Four of coins. The squirrel saving for a rainy day. 
five of coins. I don't understand this one. I have to look at the guidebook for that. Six of coins. This is different also. There's no giving that I can tell. Seven of coins. Eight of coins. There's a deer down here. But I don't see the eight coins, so this one I didn't understand either. Nine of coins. So the ants are working together to create abundance. So non-traditional nine of coins. Ten of coins, it's the whole family. Page of coins. Knight of coins. Queen of coins. And king of coins. Next is a suit of wands with ace of wands. Two of wands. So a fork in the road trying to decide which path to take. Three of wands. Four of wands. Five of wands. This is different for the five of wands. I didn't understand this either. A lot of this I have to look through the guidebook to figure out the author's interpretation. Six of wands. Seven of wands. Camel going through. Eight of wands. Nine of wands. Ten of wands. Page of wands. Knight of wands. And queen of wands. Uh, queen of wands and then king of wands is last. And I don't know if I mentioned this is matte papery. I know I said it was medium and comparing the side, but I don't think I said the texture is matte on the pa papery side, papery feel. So let's take a look at the nice sky book here. It's large. And as I mentioned, it is hard case, like a textbook, hard cover. 2023 by Sickle Books, table of contents. We have introduction, the language of Tarot, your story, writing, the ending, the basics, preparing for readings, asking questions, reading between the lines, spreads, major arcana, minor arcana. Then they go through the different suits. The pages are semi-gloss. So here are the different spreads, and then the, it goes into the major arcana. And you do get a full size color picture of the card. What I do like from what I saw is this uh, deck. It gives you five different interpretation for the one card, for each card, I should say. So for example, starting out, we have the full. Uh, it says radical presence, trust, surrender to the moment, awareness, letting go of the past and accepting all possible futures, the joy of simply being. And then it tells you, if you're looking, uh, if you get this card, what does it mean for the past position? You had a carefree attitude, never concerning yourself with plans for the future. You trusted that exactly enough would come to you at exactly the right time, freeing you to follow your bliss with a clear mind and heart. So that's the past. And then the present meaning is your eyes are locked with the eyes of a performing dog. Balance on a ball on one foot and juggling yet exuding a tranquil bliss so complete that you wonder if she'll fall asleep. Your sense of time melts away. This moment is your whole world. Wow. And then on the horizon, which is the future, mean, meaning is colorful flags in a variety of sizes, shapes, 
and patterns dance in the breeze. No two are light, and yet they all seem to be celebrating the same thing. You feel yourself begin to sway along to their rhythm as you approach. All right. I'm trying to see the flags. Or are they just saying that? I don't know. Okay, so the meaning from above. So I guess from above looking down. Songs of birds combine with the rattle of tree branches and whistling wind to create a spontaneous improvised symphony. This music of nature beckons you to set down your work and dance to the rhythm of life. And then the final meaning deep within, a profound stillness keeps you grounded in the here and now. Everywhere you go, a sense of calm contentment follows. You feel free to play, not weighted down by guilt over this idle time, but instead buoy by the happiness it brings. So for each card, you get six meaning. All right. So let's see the minor, if the minor is the same. Yeah, the minor is the same. So here we have the Ten of Cups. And then the key words, supportive community, freedom from shame, unconditional love, happiness, vicarious joy, security, family, open expression of emotion. And that goes through what does it mean in the past, at present, on the horizon, from above, and deep within. Pretty nice. And I think I saw the court cards. They did that for the court cards as well. Just want to double check. So here's the world. And then the minor arcana. And then do they have a separate section for the court cards? Or do they put it at the end? Yeah, so the court cards is the same. They put it at the end of each suit in order. So let's, let's read one of the court cards just to see. So King of Swords, realm is the sky. Intellect, strategy, rationality, structure, thinking, logic, presenting a sound judgment, clarity of mind and voice, refinement, analysis. In the past, you closely study the theories of others but had trouble forming your own point of view. You were too close. You needed distance to see how the intersections of all these trains of thought fit together, where they clash and what you found in the pattern. At present, your clothes flap lightly in the wind as the king of air assesses your character, sword aloft, an antenna to gather divine communications the sword descends the king touches the tip to the top of your head you are anointed on the horizon kites glide gracefully through the sky brought to life by a perfect breeze on a clear day you trace the random paths they take with your eyes retaining the patterns and shapes and make a game of creating a language from them from above, a funnel cloud drops down and grabs you, pulling you up into the air. You find you can float safely in the sky and you relax, taking in the vast landscape above and below the clouds, understanding both are your home. And then deep within your mind's eye, guided by your breath, you reach a state of peace. In this meditative state, you keep just one question in your consciousness, when you open your eyes, the answer arrives as a switch on like a light bulb. All right. So they have the same setup for the major cards, the minor cards, and the court cards. And you get a full-size color page of all 78 cards through the entire book. And then in the back, she has acknowledgments. There's a total of 176 pages. So very nice guidebook. All right, so this is an animal deck. Um, for those who like animals, 
and it loosely followed the right of weight system, not a hundred percent. Some of it, even for me, it was confusing, but um, nothing you can't figure out. And then the guidebook explains it all, you know, if you're not sure, or if you get confused or. Very nice, very nice presentation. And I will put the link uh, in the description underneath the video as usual for those who uh, are interested. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.